hey guys what's up welcome to the next section of this course in this section we will talk all about MySQLi database management system in the introduction video of this course I told you that MySQL is a database management system where you can actually create databases tables and can view the data can insert new data can delete data and can update data so all these tasks are done within the MySQLi and this is also called the backend of uh, you know of in web development or a website in a website MySQLi is the backend uh, resource so basically we always use MySQLi with PHP and this is very popular most of the websites use MySQLi for storing information and storing data so let's just uh, come to the browser and write localhost and then zem so you will see this interface so in this introduction lecture of MySQLi I will tell you that how you can find the user interface for MySQLi to create a database and then a table so we can create a table and database very simply so when you come to this page localhost zamp you will see this page and here you can find the PHP my admin link under the tools at left side you can just observe if you click this it will take you to the this interface which is for my SQLi you can see all the databases here in the left side menu and if you click databases you will see them here as well and you can create a database here also so you can directly access this by writing localhost and then php my admin that's it you will see the same thing so now if you click this databases you will see it is written create database so we will create a database with the php name let's click create database has been created you can click that here you can see PHP now it is saying no tables found in database and you can use all these settings for this database for example exporting the database or importing another database or things like that or you know searching in the database or uh, you know running a query here anyways now it is saying create a table because there is no tables in this database that we have created the database name is PHP and we can create as many tables as we want but the first table we, we will create will be about users and the number number of columns will be four so this is the name of the table and how many columns we want for this table so this is simple four columns we want you want to just uh, you know save the data of the users and four different information click save in the next page you will see the setting for this uh, table so you can make the necessary settings for example the first is the name of these uh, columns so I will say the ID will be the name the first one the second one will be the name the third row will have I mean uh, value of pass and the last one will be email so I have just given the name to these columns first ID name and pass and email these are basically the headings of these rows or you can say these columns so next is the type of this all the first one will be integer mean numeric value second will be varchar any various characters or variables and characters and the next is the length and values which will be 100 for all you can add any value you want or if you don't want any value you want to make it unlimited then don't add a value now this first ID will be auto incremented I mean automatically incremented therefore I have checked here a underscore I means a means auto you can see when you mouse over there it the text appears auto increment so auto increment means this ID field will be automatically incremented and in the next fields we will receive data uh, I mean we will insert data or we will receive data from the PHP script and this first one will be we will assign a primary key to this first one because we don't want the same uh, the same data you know duplicate data in this field that's it Just make the simple setting and then click save so this uh, table has been created inside the PHP database the PHP database in the user users is the table inside it you click 
it browse there is no data inside this but if you click the structure you can see the structure of this table here now we can insert data into this either using PHP from uh, a page or you can we can directly insert data using this option insert you can simply say the name is Abdul password is Wali and email is Abdul at gmail.com just click go and data has been inserted now browse the table and see ID 1 name Abdul pass Wali and email is this ID is automatically incremented because we are not given any ID we are in this is by default inc uh, incrementing so this we have just this data we have inserted from here using this insert option directly using the this interface but we can also insert the data from a page from a, an HTML page or PHP page so we will do that in the later lecture in next tutorial we will discuss establishing the MySQLi connection with the PHP script I mean on the page to the database so after that we can actually uh, add data stay tuned